hello hi guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel uh, where i actually try to help you to polish your laramel and uh, let's see what we have in this video okay uh, so in this video actually we will check it uh, how to upload files with uh, using laramel so this is our shop project so it's already hosted on the github i uh, will just show you here if you want uh, to go around and play with it uh, feel free to download it on i have all the instructions here you don't need anything here i have already included the item series classes and also the database migrations so you can just run the migrations and get the same project look and feel if you want okay so in this video we have uh, we'll actually try to look at how to upload files using library so this is a basic uh, blade component uh, with title price and image we have so now uh, let's see and how let's see how we can convert this this component to live right? so first we will go and look around the component actually let's go ahead and check the round drive web.php file so here we have the create item form where actually item.create and this is the live uh, blade component here so this has three field title price and image and also a placeholder to display the image and also then the server let's go ahead and check like if it is working as intended or not so i'll just add a uh, hundred dollar iphone here so we can actually go to documents and images and we can get an iphone image here so okay so once we actually select the image it is displaying the preview so let's go and see the item once we save the item we get the item here in the home page and we also get a um, get a nice success message here as well uh, so first thing uh, this uh, project does not have live wire yet so let's go ahead and pull live wire so for that actually we can go to laravel dash live wire and we can check this from the documentation okay so we just need to run this command composer require live wire let's go ahead and run it in the terminal okay so we got the live wire so next we need to set up this live wire styles and scripts in our parent blade file let's go ahead and do that and same for live wire script Let's go ahead and refresh the shop project to see like if we get the uh, if we got the live wire script and styling or not. Okay, so yeah, we got the live wire styling and let's go ahead and we got the live wire script here as well. And let's make sure and check the console if there is any error or not. Let's go ahead. Okay, so there are no errors here. So it seems everything is working fine. Let's go ahead and create our first component here. create item page and no okay so let's see if we get our create item page here or not okay so we get the two uh, okay so we got the blade file and we get the php component file so let's go ahead and reference this component files here uh, in the create item page Okay, so we'll copy all the complete form from here and we'll paste it in the create item that blended PHP and uh, we can we'll try a reference uh, live wire component here instead of this live wire uh, create item page. So this should work actually. So yeah, let's go ahead and try to refresh this and see like if everything is working as intended. So we'll add a 200 dollar iphone now and using a different image okay. Uh, okay cool so it's still working so yeah but uh now the thing is that um so this is still a blade form so we need to actually make it a live form uh, so let's go ahead and minimize this and open it in a split window okay so let's open up this so i will quickly actually reference title price and image so i don't want uh, I, I will not actually uh, get you to watch it so this is pretty simple so i just need to declare a few properties and then i, ref I will reference it here so yeah let me do it in the back uh, okay cool so we actually added three properties here and then we reference these properties here while model or title uh, okay, so let's go ahead and copy the rules from the create item request as well. And okay, so I'll copy these guys and we'll put it here in the protected rules. 
So okay. So uh, okay. So what we'll do is like uh, Li Liver actually has this protected property. This is the reserve queue rules for the Liver. So we can actually only put uh, validation rules here. So we'll just update the rules regarding to our name here. So let's remove these guys. Item title. So if you press Control G, so it will select the next uh, same appearance of the items that you selected. So we remove item from this uh, validation rule because we don't have item prefix in the variable. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, actually try to save this and uh, let's copy this guy, uh, copy the save logic from item controller. So what we'll do is we'll just copy all of it and paste it here. So uh, we don't we don't have requests. So what we'll do is we'll just use reference the property that we have, title, and then we'll just add the price. And here, actually, instead of file, we will just reference image. Uh, so yeah, so this item is actually our pop, um, our disk in the file system if you go here and you can see actually uh, in the file system we have this item uh, items actually disk and create here so what it is doing is it is using the local driver so we're, we're storing the images in the local uh, so storage path so it is saving actually images here app item but uh, this actually path is linked to the public directory as well so as you can see it here so in the public path item actually this public path is linked to the storage app item so that's why it actually the images are stored here but the url is um app url item so uh, that's it actually we want to store in the root so we don't want any other folder that's why we actually kept it blank so actually just put this this dot validate here and i think uh, we are good to go so let's see our blade file so yeah so we also need to change this guy as well because we don't need action now so we'll be using wire to prevent the submission and instead uh, submit it to live component so okay so we have we're using wire submit to prevent so actually this will intercept the call and uh, save the item here uh, instead call this method on the component here uh, so I think that's pretty much it from our side let's go ahead and try to save the item Okay, so now this is a level component. Uh, let's go ahead and add $900. And let's choose this picture now. And okay, so we have this problem. We just need to use the use with file upload straight in our component if we are saving our file. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Uh, I always miss that. So yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, so let's refresh it and let's make it nine hundred dollars and let's choose the image here. Okay, and save it. So now the next problem that we have is we cannot actually redirect this traffic like this because we, there is no width with the library redirector. So we'll actually remove it and we'll move it to flash session that flash and paste it here actually let's remove this guy here and also this guy and also fix this y this is some other language so okay cool so i think we have fixed the problem here let's go ahead and refresh this guy okay so iphone x max 900 dollars and this time we'll choose another picture maybe this iphone okay save the item okay so cool so it is working fine actually uh, one more thing that we need to do is like uh, we need to show the thumbnail because in our previous example we had this thumbnail here so let's see how we can add our thumbnails here so by default we are displaying this uh, so actually uh, liver uh, when we are uploading this image actually this image is an instance of uploaded file uh, actually, let's go ahead and type in this uploaded file so this is the uploaded file instead uh, so in the blade file we can check if the image is there and then we can use the image temporary url method here so uh, what we can do is like if image is set we can get the temporary url so how this work is whenever you select an image here so once we select the image actually it will save this image to the storage file and we can get the temporary url from the storage so actually let's go ahead and check how it is storing so if you go to storage if you go to app public it should be in the app public uh, let's go ahead and this guy 
so yeah this is the temporary storage for uh, liver so let's go ahead and remove one of these to see like uh, once we update the image if an image comes here or not so yeah let's go ahead and choose an image here uh, maybe we're choosing this guy okay file not found uh, okay so yeah i think we may have changed a few things here let's go ahead and refresh it give it a refresh and try it because i think we didn't refresh this page okay uh, let's go ahead and see in the template. So yeah, so whenever you actually actually right now the file is not uploaded uh, to the uh, items directory. So this is how um, Liver keeps track of the files you upload. So it actually save it in the temp directory. It create a signed URL. So it actually use it uh, internally to, so that nobody can access it. So actually you can check it here as well. So this is the temporary URL. So after your user chooses a file, you may want to show them a preview of the data file before they submit the form and actually store the file. So LiveWire makes it trivial with the temporary URL method upload. Here's an example and here's some more description. So this temporary URL is only available for images uh, for the security point of view. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty, much, pretty much it. So yeah, let's go ahead and so yeah, this is all about the temporary URL. So how actually Liveware gets the temporary URL. So now you understand it. I think uh, let's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and just check it one more time and then we'll move forward here. Okay, let's make it 99. Let's change this, let's use this picture here. And let's save this item. So okay, so we uh, our item is being saved properly. So the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to actually add the validation here to see like if we can get the validation error here. So for that actually we also have to add the validation error here. So I will just do it in the background. Uh, okay, so I have added these error messages here. So this what this is checking is like once the validation fails. So it check if there is any uh, validation error title in the validation errors. If there is, then it actually scope a message variable here, and then we can display the error message here. So one more thing that we need to do here, once we actually update the image, we should get the validation message here. So because right now, like uh, if you choose the file here, for example, I will choose a different file here, uh, maybe WFP file. So it does not show actually any error here and instead it actually throws an exception. So let's go ahead and fix both of these issues. So first thing that we need to fix is uh, whenever actually we update the image, uh, so it will actually call an updated image method and we can actually use that. So here actually we can put this to validate. So whenever the image is being uploaded, uh, it will validate the image. So once it validates the image, it will throw an exception. Uh, but the problem is it will not reset the image. So here, what we can do is we can check if it is not validated, it will actually throw a validation exception. So once the validation, validation exception is thrown, we can actually reset the image to null because this is not a valid image and we can continue to throw the exception. Actually, we can do it in another way as well. Uh, first, uh, actually we can do it in a better way. So let's go ahead and do that. So because you don't need to exception block, uh, you can just, we can just do this as well. So, so if there is an exception, it will uh, definitely run this and then it will throw the exception. So yeah, let's go ahead and refresh this guy and let's choose another image here. Okay. So, okay. So once we uh, click this, actually it uh, threw all the validation error. So it seemed like there is some problem here. We don't, we don't need to display all the errors once we're using this red validate. So if we, we just now need to uh, validate the image only, so we, we can specify the rules here. But for now, I think it's fine and it's working. So yeah, so we got the validation error here as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it one more time and then we can move to show the progress bar because sometimes we also need that okay so it must be an image so let's go ahead and choose the image okay we can use this iphone image here okay let's go ahead and yeah i think it is okay so the problem was like uh, it did not validate it so now the problem here is 
like uh, in every case if it's valid or not valid it will throw this uh, it will set the emission now so we actually need to move it again to uh, catch here uh, we only need to set the emission now if there is an exception here so we'll just do this and we'll throw exception i think this is a problem so let's go ahead and see now like now if it works fine uh, 999 and let's change the image okay good so it worked so yeah let's go ahead and insert this item and so cool so it's working fine so uh, just one more thing actually i want to show you is uh, uh, we can actually simulate simulate the uh, slow connection right now i have a very good connection so we can actually use uh, slow 3g and then we can show the progress bar here so you know, first of all let's get a progress bar component let's copy this guy and let's put it alongside the image here okay so here we can actually do wire target loading um, actually we can just do the wire loading okay so only it will only load once the uh, for, uh, once there is an ajax call between uh, this blade component and this php component and and we only want the ones when this is updating the image so for that actually we can use the wild target so we don't want uh, this to be shown when uh, these guys are updating so that's why we actually added this guy so let's go ahead and see like if it is working actually let's remove it and see like if we can see the loader here spinner here or not okay so we can see the spinner let's add a bootstrap margin so that m y2 so it is properly placed okay so we can remove this guy and we can put it again okay okay let's remove this guy and see this progress bar in action okay so now the problem is uh, validate only uh, we only want to validate the image here so we don't want to validate the other fields because uh, if the other fields are being validated then the problem is like it is still throwing the exception here so let's go ahead and fix this now and let's refresh it okay so now it's working fine and uh, what else we we can do here uh, yeah let's throttle our connection and see if it works uh, okay slow 3g okay we can use this kind of okay so actually it is throttling the connection so we are simulating a slow connection here so it, uh, it, this is taking some time so once it has uploaded the image there so now it can see we can see the image here so yeah uh, we can uh, you can see like we can uh, also show the spinners like while, while the file is uploading so i think that's pretty much it for this video uh let me know if you have any question or comment i would really like you if uh, you like and subscribe and share this video yeah, till then, uh, see you. Cheers. Bye-bye.